Good night. My name is Claudio de Barros Fernandes Nogueira, plastic surgeon from Brazil, actually living between Portugal and Spain, but still doing some surgeries in Florianópolis, the city, the city that I lived in the last 20, 21 years before coming to move into Europe. I will be answering some questions of our good friend, Dr. Piana, about breasts. I will answer the first question about how many breast, in, breast implants and reductions I have been done along the, my 27 years of medical practice. It's very interesting because I did, in that time, I did more uh, reductions than blast augmentations. I lived, it could be because I lived in a part in South Brazil and it's pretty crowded with uh, German and Italian people. And I did lots of reductions. It was about 3,000 patients that I have done this, this kind of surgery. And I improved some, some techniques by short scars with the L scars where I, when I did my doctor's degree in Barcelona some years ago. And it was interesting because, and I have, in, for augmentation, I have about, by these days, a little bit more than 2,000 patients that I have augmented the, the breasts and actually I'm still not today actually I do more, more augmentation the reduction but my total amount of surgeries I, I still did more redu more reduction than augmentation about 3,000 reductions and that's very interesting because all the tissue that we remove it from these patients uh, and it come from three 300 kilograms to uh, ele sorry 300 grams to 11 kilograms. This is my my ranch. I sent all the pieces to the to the the, the study with the pathologist. And after all those years, I only see one case, one case of that it, that I saw that I read the paper, and it was normal breast, only one case. All the others, the majority of cases was written uh, uh, mammary uh, fibrocystic disease. This is, this is the most amount of the patients. Sometimes we have some benign hypertrophia, ductal hypertrophia, but all diseases, some, some fibroadenomas, but the majority about 70% was fibrocystic disease. And with this kind of amount, we, we know that it's about the, the, of the difference between the hormones and estrogen and or progesterone acti acting in the breast tissue. It can cause some, some cysts, some variations, but uh, we have to, to think about it because it's a, I only about after 3,000 surgeries, only one case that it was written normal. What's normal for breast surgery? For breast, for pathology, pathologic view in breast surgery. Interesting that. The, sec the second answer that he, he sent to me, and your vast experience, how many cases of fibrocystic bre uh, breast have it been? Oh, 70% was about 70% was fibrocystic. Remembering, trying to remember chronic cyst mastopathy, I found fibro, fibroadenoma, some benign epithelial breast lesion, but the majority, the more common was fibrocystic disease. The third question, what criteria do you use to consider breast fibrocystic? When the patient arrived, I, I never did a surgery for because of the pain in the breast. But for the discomfort that the patients are feeling with the big, the big amount causing back pain, causing discomfort, uh, people saying that they, they are fat or the breast, the majority, the majority of the reasons was discomfort. I never did, I don't remember to, to do a surgery for pain. I have pain in my breasts. Uh, and then all these patients, all this, this, 
the symptoms about pain was wasn't real for this kind of uh, of surgery. I don't believe that we can do breast reduction to relieve pain in the breast. If we have pain this size, we'll be having pain in this size. One little piece can cause us a big, big pain and some big things don't hurt too much. Then I don't think it's it's a good reason to do breast reduction to, to relieve pain. All these patients in terms of mammary, mammary disease, of breast disease, have no symptoms. The only symptoms was the beauty. I feel me ugly. I feel, mis I feel sad. I feel fat. My back and my back pain. I, I, because of my back pain. And this is, I haven't any criteria to do any diagnostic uh, conditions or or research before the surgeries. It was only a finding after the surgeries. But we have uh, we have to take care to 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 to, to take note because including the breast the breast implants when we open the tissue and we pass through to put the implant or during the reduction that when we are cutting the tissues to remove it, it's very frequently to find many, many cysts. Sometimes it's uh, like we are working in, in grapes of how many cysts we have. And after taking fibrocystic disease, cysts, non-malignant, non after all these years, I have the lucky of not, not read after the surgeries in any any of my patients a case of cancer. I heard closer to me, not, not in the literature, but closer to me, I have one friend that one of the reductions, they found a breast cancer and she did mastectomy after, after a, a, a beauty surgery of mastoplasty. That's bad. Uh, do you send breast tissue to a pathologist? All, every time I will be sending my the things that we, we remove to a pathologist. I think my eye is I think my eye is good, but uh, maybe it's good to have a second a second uh, advice, a second uh, opinion, especially with the microscope. The results of pathology tests. This thing that I mentioned before. Have you ever noticed the effects of tight bras bra on the lateral portion of the breast? Yeah, it's, it's very usual to find this kind of patient with big breasts, with ah, marks, stretch marks, and with echimosis, uh, uh, skin diseases in this portion, and to, tight, to tighten in the thorax. Uh, it's very usual to try to, to, to hide the breasts and I don't think, and I'm not sure if, I, I don't have the, 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 the method, I'm, I cannot say if this is the reason of this kind of amount uh, in the literature where right? we can find fibrocyst fibrocystic disease from 30% to 75%, that, that range no, when nobody with a rain like this, we don't in lit literature can help me too much. But I don't think if one thing is too tight, it could it could help us. Remembering in a flap, how we will treat a flap of the nipple, for, for example, when we when we put the flap up, we have to 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 take a really good care with this, and actually. We check this with thermography during the during the surgery. We put up and make the suture above above that above that flap. We undermine that flap. Here's the here's the nipple, and we have to tighten the breasts above this nipple. And if we leave it too tight, the artery will deliver the blood. But if it's too tight, we have a low pressure 
We, everybody knows that we have a low pressure under the vein. And if it's too tight and it did, you arrive blood and the, the blood is, will be creating more pressure, the veins could be more, uh, more closed and this is a big problem. The majority of, of cases of uh, bad function and ischemia in the nipples is, a, is caused by bad drainage, not bad arrival of the arrival of the blood. And we are speaking about blood. The lympha, it's much more uh, delicate. And if you create, see if the breast is too tight, we have a, 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 a big edema for a, a many, many times. This is something that we have to, to avoid. And bra, a, a, a tight bra, for sure. It doesn't help the, the, the circulation, the, the, the good healing, the physiology of the breast, in my opinion. Uh, do you feel that do you feel that tight bra can affect the lymphatic flow? For sure, for sure. By the reason that I, I explained before. Uh, from your experience, can you let our viewers in on any exciting information regarding breast anatomy and thermography? For sure. I'm using thermography. I'm very excited with this. It's very and before the surgeries. The patient get too excited to see the little fibre, the non. Oh, there's a fibre. to see to 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 know themselves with this 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 kind of beautiful image, and uh, I really believe that we can take a really good care with screenings after in before surgery. We can create a pattern before if we know the patients. Uh, before the surgery, much better, one or two screenings, and we can make a measurement and a comparison between the beginning, dur uh, during the surgery we do that to, to, to check if the, the blood supply is, is good, the entrance and the exit, and it's a good way to take care. We know we have a picture of the situation in, in one moment and we can check in many others uh, with no radiation with very with amount with a grade of of ah, it's very good to do and i see some good things with this i hope that i can help with you sorry with my my little mistakes in english that's my third language and Good night for all of you. Thank you.